my hair's up and I am ready to start this month with some food organization and cleaning up. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and this is probably going to be an all day process. You guys are gonna see it. Like right now it is eight o'clock in the morning, but it is the weekend. We've got some extra kids over here. So I'm just gonna do what I can when I can. And it's probably gonna be dark by the time I am done. But today I am going to be cleaning out my fridge and freezer. And I actually have four freezers. Now three of them are attached to refrigerators, so they are smaller. And then I have three refrigerators. So. We have a lot, I know, but we have a lot of food. We have a large family, we have a lot of get togethers. And with this channel, I cook a lot and I do a lot of freezer meals. So I need this space so I can continue sharing those videos with y'all. But everything is disorganized. We're going into a new month. I did a monthly grocery haul. So everything I just shoved in. So I probably should have done this before I went to the grocery store, but like I said, it's the weekend. My kids have friends over and it is crazy. So I needed to get some grocery shopping done. But in this video, we're going to clean out the fridges and the freezers. And I think I'm gonna bring one of my fridge freezer combos that is in the garage into the house. Just so we have the drinks on hand and everything is in here in one specific area so you guys are going to come along with me right now all the kids are outside playing so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what they look like before and then we'll do some cleaning up as we can and then i will show you guys the after so let's get into it okay so this is the refrigerator that we have in our kitchen and let me go ahead and show you guys what's inside is kind of everything is just shoved in there yep all sorts of stuff so I do have an inventory that I took at the beginning of February but we've eaten some things and we added some other things you can see stuff you're gonna see stuff that's not in the grocery hauls because I do go an extra time during the week sometimes and pick up things that we run out of or that I need for specific recipes that I forget about that happens quite a lot actually and this is our <laughs> fridge. Oh my goodness, it is pretty. This door does not stay open. Let me see if I can hold it with my foot, there we go. So it is pretty disorganized, everything is just shoved in there. So I definitely need to clean it up. I have not prepped any produce at all. You can see our door here. It's gonna start to close because I'm not holding it, there we go. So that is the only refrigerator freezer that we have inside. However, if we turn over here, I have this space here right now all my cleaning supplies and vacuums are right there or vacuum um, and I think I'm gonna bring one of the fridges in here the smaller one the other one won't fit we measured it yesterday but I just like to have the extra stuff on hand so I think I'm gonna do that and I might share that in this video and move some of the cleaning supplies to this wall right here and get those hung up we will see how that turns out so now I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me we're gonna walk into the garage and I'll show you guys what we've got going on in here. Okay, so now we're in the garage and the only reason why we have three fridges instead of two is because this was the fridge that we originally had. We love it, it's a bit oversized and this is the one that we were hoping to put in the kitchen. That one in the kitchen is brand new when we moved into the house because we needed to buy that because this one was too big, <laughs> it did not fit. But I didn't wanna get rid of it because I love having the space. So this one is going to stay in the garage. Um, and let me show you guys what this one looks like. The fridge part is actually pretty empty. Like I said, I haven't done any of my prep yet. So we've just got some butter, bouillon, um, some of our keto snacks that Mark really likes. I like the cupcakes. Uh, are the smart cakes and Mark likes the keto bars. So those are in there. And then I've just got a few things, leftover pizza from last night that we made with the kids and then some peppers that I need to clean up and some bigger items. So this isn't like unorganized, obviously it's pretty empty, but the inside fridge is very unorganized. So I'm gonna clean both out, reorganize them, see what works for us. Then we've got this little snack drawer here full of cheese, <laughs> you can see there. And then this is the freezer that is pretty 
overflowing. Oh, it got dark all of a sudden. So I need to reorganize in here so I know what is where. Now, this freezer we bought because we needed more freezer space. We bought this one before we bought the extra refrigerator that is inside the house. So we figured we bought these appliances, we might as well keep them because we do use them. So this is this freezer, very unorganized. Things are just shoved in there. So that's what we've got going on there. And then if we turn over here, this is the fridge that I am going to put into the laundry room. Well, my husband and I are gonna put in the laundry room. So the freezer actually just has some items that my oldest daughter enjoys, smoothies and soups that are super easy for her to put together. And then down here are some waffles that I meal prepped and chicken that I just got for the dogs. And this bag is actually about to disappear and it's gonna be replaced with freezer bags because I'm going to cook this for meal plan, for meal prep that you guys are gonna see in an upcoming video. This video should be going out first. And then this is what we call our drink fridge. So it has, it's not gonna stay open, just a bunch of drinks in it. I need to, I actually just recently took everything out and cleaned this fridge, so I might do that again since I have to take everything out to move it inside, and then it'll just be nice and clean, but it, this one really doesn't need it because this one doesn't have food in it. It's just cans and bottles of drinks, so that one's not that bad. That is what I have going on. I wanted to share with you guys what we have. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with this fridge. I'm going to empty it to get everything inside on the counter, and then I'm gonna have my husband help me get this into the laundry room and get that area set up first. Okay, laundry room is coming along. I definitely like the fridge in here. So we hung the vacuum up. I actually wanted it a little bit more over this way, not so close to the light. But <laughs> when Mark was drilling holes in the wall, can you see through there? I don't know if you can see through there, but there's metal right there. He couldn't go far enough. I, I have this to hear that. So I was like, yeah, don't, don't push through that. I have no idea why that's there. So this right here, no metal. So hung it up there, but it still works fine. And then we're going to get something to hang these right here. And then we're also going to get a different outlet that goes in. It's not gonna focus because it's too small there, but that goes in the wall. That way we can push the fridge all the way back and it gives us a little bit more room right here. But as far as what we use this for right now, we've just got drinks um, pretty much all the time we have juice boxes we pick up Gatorade here and there Mark Zevia my mineral water and then um, coca-cola zero sugar and then the re rest of the drinks that are in here are leftover from parties and and things like that recipes like that I've made so and then just random drinks that I find from the Dollar Tree so that's pretty much what this fridge is and then this freezer is going to be some of Paige's my oldest daughter her things um, and I use them too they're smoothies and oatmeal packets and stuff like that in there but at least we've got this fridge in here it's nice and cleaned out I showed you guys how dusty it was from being out in the garage so I wiped it all down and hopefully we can get what we need in here and finish this laundry room out okay done with the laundry fridge. Now I'm doing like the easiest ones first. And the kids are all outside riding bikes and skateboards and stuff. So you're gonna hear them, but now I'm going to take everything out of this fridge and just give it a good wipe down. Um, it's not that bad, but you can see where we had some produce and little drips and stuff. So I'm gonna try to clean this out along with this and then get everything back in here. Okay, so I wiped down the fridge and the reason why there's like hardly any B-roll <laughs> is because I'm doing this with a house full of kids and I do not wanna set the camera up. So the inside is as clean as I can get it. I need my husband to come in here 
and take this apart. I tried, I was just really afraid I was gonna break the glass, so I stopped. But I do need, something spilt in here a while ago. So I need to wipe that out, but I'm gonna have him take that out for me. But this is looking pretty good. I do have a few things from inside, for the refrigerator inside the house that are going to come out here. Um, so right now I've got all my butter up here. I've got an extra um, vegetable base, the better than bouillon right here. There is one on the ins in the inside fridge. Also for Paige, she uses that. Got some extra ready, ready Whip. We've actually had this for a while. My big thing of minced garlic. And then I moved the cream cheese over here. The cream cheese was over here with the butter. And then I did have another pack inside. So I brought that out here so it can all stay out here. I've got the peppers in here, but they're not gonna be out here for very long. I think I'm going to move those inside once I clean that fridge. All of our like keto, low carb, low sugar snacks stay there. Our eggs. I got this in here. Um, I'm not putting these in the freezer, even though we're not using it for a couple weeks because it, the dates on it are still fine. So no, no reason to stuff my freezers anymore. So those are gonna stay in here. And then I've got this spinach artichoke and Parmesan dip that this is the second time I've done this. I picked up a dip that looked really good at Costco and then we just haven't used it. And I think, I mean, we have until March 5th, so it's the very end of February right now. So um, we'll see if I can get this on the menu somehow, maybe prep it for lunches or something, or I am gonna stick this in the freezer and hopefully that that freezes as well. So that's what the refrigerator looks like. And then I did clean this one out as well. And everything is exactly the same in here, the same foods. We keep our cheeses that we're not using right now. And then our snack foods out here because there's no room on the inside fridge right now. And then, I did get a bin to contain all of this cheese. So that looks a lot better. Now that we've got the black refrigerator, the smallest one inside, this refrigerator is cleaned out and ready for me to clean out the fridge inside and put some of that out here. So I think I'm gonna do the freezers last. We're gonna go inside, I'm gonna pull everything out and wipe down all the shelves and then get everything back in there and start prepping some of the food as well. Okay guys, inside of the fridge is completely wiped out. Looks so good. It was not as bad as I thought. Um, it's been a little while since I've cleaned it out, but I have cleaned it since we moved in. So it wasn't super horrible, didn't take me that long, but now I need to put everything back in it. I showed you guys already. I have everything all out. Oh, and I'm just using an all-purpose cleaner to wipe everything out. Um, and it's just been working awesome. So I'm gonna put everything back in it. I am going to put some things in the outside fridge, like we already have a milk that is not quite empty yet, so our second one I'm gonna put outside. We are not going to have sauerkraut this week. This is an extra one. Um, we're almost out, but I did go ahead and pick up an extra one. So things that we're not gonna use this week or doubles of anything, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the outside fridge just to save a little bit more space in here. Okay, much better. Now I haven't prepped anything, so once I do my meal prep, this fridge is going to be a little bit more full and I might decide to pull a few more items and put them in the garage fridge. But for now, this is what my fridge looks like. I've got all my drinks up here. So we've got milk, nothing's behind the milk, so there's still plenty of room. A chocolate milk, my coffee creamer, orange juice, and then I do have the Ready Whip up here as well. We did have egg salad for lunch this weekend, so I did go ahead and make a little bit extra. And so Mark and I now have a little bit for lunch this coming week. I've got some dumplings for Paige, one avocado. I should have purchased some avocados. 
but that's okay. I can just pick more up next week. We've got our bacon fat, which we use when we do mainly scrambled eggs. We use the bacon fat, and then I've got sour cream and some leftover pizza sauce. So I definitely need to put pizza on the menu for next weekend to make sure that we use that pizza sauce up. Right here is the dog food, the chicken that I prep pretty much every week, sometimes every two weeks for our dogs at night to go with their dinner. Oh dang, now I can't close this. All right, and then this is what we're having for dinner tonight. So we just took this out of the freezer earlier today and now they are thawed and we can cook them up for dinner tonight. This is Paige's vegetable base that she uses for several different recipes, my yogurt and some salsa that we use for all sorts of stuff super yummy and scrambled eggs. Coming down here, we've got some leftovers. This actually had more leftovers in it, but we had those for lunch today. So this is gonna go, we're gonna finish these noodles off tonight with the kids, so the kids can have that with some scallops. I've got one package of eggs in here, and then this is kind of miscellaneous for the kids. We did some Sundays with the kids, so we've got some cherries left over, one little sugar-free Jello pack, and then just a few Go-Gurts left. This is kind of my cheese drawer, so it's just cheese. I could put some of this outside, but like I said, I haven't done my meal prep for the week yet, and I need some of this for cooking some recipes. I also have some turkey in here because this is where I grab from when I make the kids lunches during the school week. This is all of our produce. I do need to prep some of that. And then this is these are the things that I have prepped other than the grapes. I still need to wash these. So a lot of this, all of this is left over from last week, except for the carrots. I just, I recently purchased these and they're just in a bag and it's not resealable. So I just dumped them in a container and that way it's really easy for the kids to grab, take some carrots and then close it back up. Because what they were doing was just putting the bag back in here open and they were getting dried out really, really quickly. So this works a lot better for us. Then we come to the door and I just have a bunch of condiments that we use. Not all of these do we use every week, but we do use them quite often. So I've got all of that in here. So much better and it definitely looks a lot more organized and put together. And these are the items that I'm going to put outside. Now I do need to prep this. So you guys are actually, I'm prepping a little bit today, but that's in a different video. You guys are gonna see that later on this week, hopefully. But I need to prep this, but all of this for now, since I'm not done cleaning out the freezer parts, this is gonna go in the outside fridge. All right, you guys, I'm getting tired. <laughs> Just because I picked a day where we've been up very, very early. Um, so I just had another cup of coffee, sat down, relaxed for a while. All the extra kids are gone right now and pretty much everybody is asleep. Everybody's taking a nap but me and Pearl. She's my only child that's awake. So I'm actually going to go through my meal planner because there's a section in here and I always have this linked in the description box if you guys are looking for a meal planner. But there is a freezer inventory and I need to go through it. I have crossed off a few things as we have eaten them, but I haven't added anything to it. So that's one thing that I wanna get better about this year, being in this house and not fully um, having like all the rooms aren't complete and we still have a lot of organizing to do that's just a thing on my list for this year to get organized and stay organized find systems that work for our family and keep me accountable daily you know so I've got my list going but I have not been good at keeping up with it so here's what I did have you can see a few things are crossed off. So I'm gonna go through all three of my freezers and see if there's anything else that's no longer in there, cross those off, and then add anything extra that we have in there. And it does have a spot where you can put the date frozen, but I only do those for freezer meals. So you can see all of my freezer meals are gone. I'm actually gonna be making some more and you guys are gonna see those this month. I'm really excited. So this is what I'm gonna spend the next Hopefully not a full hour, but we'll see, because I'm gonna take everything out of the freezers, make my list, cross off stuff, and then put everything back in. I don't think I'm gonna be able to organize the freezers completely or as well as the fridges, just because they are jam-packed, over overfilled. Um, but I already showed you guys what they look like before. I'll show you what they look like after, and if I do figure out any kind of system, I will share that with you. One thing that I'd love to do, having both um, bigger freezers outside, I would love to just keep what we're using for the week 
inside in here. So I know that everything in this freezer is what is for that week and then everything out there I don't have to worry about. So I'm not looking for things like, oh, this is for dinner, I need to pull it out. If I see it in here, I'm thinking that that will make it easier for me to remember when I need to pull things out like ahead of time and stuff like that. So that's my thought process, but since they're so full, we'll see what I can get done. Okay, we are done with the inside freezer. I didn't change the black freezer. It looks almost exactly the same, except I took out the big old bag of chicken. Went ahead and prepped that for the dogs. All right, so up here we just have some cool packs and then these are actually getting used. We're gonna have this tonight with our dinner. It is meatballs and then this little veggie bag. My husband is going to make himself for lunch this week. On the door, I kind of have some of Paige's items. We've got some peppers that she likes to use, a quick lunch meal, her ice cream. This is actually the kids' ice cream, and then the rest of her items as well, some vegan meat options for her. All right, so in here, I kind of went back and forth what I wanted to do. Up here, I bought this. I saw the dairy-free, and I wasn't thinking, okay, just because it's dairy-free, that doesn't mean it's vegan, and it's not vegan. There's an egg in it. So I got this for Paige, but she is not going to eat it, so yum, I <laughs> got myself some ice cream. Got some bananas back there that I will be prepping at some point. We like to use this diced ham in omelets, and then I have some pecan pieces right here. This section is all breakfast, so I have some breakfast sausage, some mini pancakes. We've actually had these for a while. I've used these for different holidays. And then I've got bagels back here, and then pancakes under there, and waffles right there. We are set for breakfast. That's why I've been having it on the menu plan once a week to go through our breakfast items. This is kind of the snack zone. So I've got some Totino's pizza rolls. Actually, this is the mini snack mix. We haven't tried this yet. French fries, taquitos, corn dogs. And then I forgot about this flatbread. So I'm actually gonna put this on the menu maybe for lunch next weekend because we have that pizza sauce in the fridge. So I'm just gonna turn these little flatbreads into pizzas and that will be awesome. We've got kolaches. These are actually, my kids eat them for breakfast, but there's no, if I put them up there, I feel like it's gonna be too cluttered. So kept it right here, but everything else on these, on this shelf and this shelf is pretty much Trader Joe's freezer items. So I've got some from like the last two times that we went. We just haven't been eating them because my freezers are jam packed and they've been hidden. So I kind of put those front and center so I see them. And then we've got some more, just all different kinds of items, side dishes and things like that from Trader Joe's. So I have everything labeled. I'm gonna show you guys after I go over all the freezers, I'm gonna show you what I did to my inventory to make it easy for me to find these items and so I know where they are. Okay, I am done in the garage and I wanted to show you guys what I did. <laughs> I put a dog towel down while I was taking all the food out of this freezer and putting it back in there and labeling it. Well, not labeling the food, but putting it in my inventory. So I just wanted to show that little trick, I guess, whatever. Um, so your bags don't get dirty and you can actually look and see what you've got instead of rubbaging around in here. Now I have way too much stuff. So there was no fully organizing this, but on this side I've got seafood, veggies, and like two breakfast items that I cannot fit inside. And then on this side I have meats. Um, I do have cauliflower rice and then, yeah, that's it. Cauliflower rice and then a bunch of meats on this side and then up here, Look at that, I bought chicken nuggets. Now, I'll run out of this fairly quickly, but I bought chicken nuggets not even knowing that I still had some, and it's super dark in there. So up here is kind of like random stuff. So pizza rolls, so I know where those are. I did get a bin for our little cold packs. We do not need this many cold packs because we have two inside as well. So that's something that I need to actually go through and declutter, get rid of some. Um, I do have an alcoholic drink in there ready for the summertime. And then I have some pecan halves out here. I wish I could fit this inside as well because I'm actually about to use some of those. So maybe once this bag gets a little smaller, I can fit it next to the pecan pieces. But that's just kind of how this freezer is going for now. Sorry, it got dark. And then this freezer is basically all meat except for the low carb buns that we have that we use when we have burgers and stuff and sandwiches and two bags of tater tots that I'm actually using pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, 
Oh my goodness, this is full of meat. This is why you don't see a lot of meat. It was actually like overflowing. There was more meat in here, but I was, over the last few weeks, we've been eating on it, so I was able to get all the meat from inside and in here. All of it now fits out here, including some that we just picked up. So, whew, I'm done with that. That was exhausting, but it feels good to have it all semi-organized. Okay, so we are back inside. That way the lighting is a little better and you guys can kind of see what I did. Oh my gosh, look at this scratched out mess, but at least I know everything that I have that's frozen. And then I went back and I did cross some things out that I didn't originally cross out because I realized we had already used it. We don't have it anymore. And then I added where it is. This is something that I've never done before, but with the different freezers that we have, I needed to do that so I know exactly where everything is. So I labeled the in for this fridge freezer right here. And then I do have one thing that's inside, but it's in the black freezer in the laundry room. And that's the salmon for Mark for his lunches. So that is the only thing in that freezer other than the smoothie kits that we have. Then the ones that are outside in our white deep freezer, I labeled white. And then the ones that are outside in the bigger refrigerator freezer combo, combo the pullout freezer, I just labeled out. That way, nice and easy, fits in here, even though it looks a little messy. I don't have the best handwriting, but I know where everything is. So I was able to scratch off a lot of things, but starting with the cold brew ice cream that I showed you in the freezer that I originally bought for Paige, this is everything that I did not even have labeled down. Now, a few of these are new that we just picked up for our like monthly grocery haul. And then I have a few things over here. Okay, so hopefully by going through and starting the month out knowing exactly what I have on hand, how I labeled everything, that that, fingers crossed, works to keep me accountable for shopping my freezer first. Because as you can see, I have a fully stocked several freezers and we do not need to buy anything until we eat on this for sure. So hopefully we can keep that grocery bill down and eat what we have. I hope this inspired you guys in some way to take stock of what you have. I'm actually going to share the pantry, hopefully, this week. I'm hoping to get in there. I knew I wanted to pull that out and separate that because this video would be super long if I didn't and I did not have time to do all three of those things today. The fridge, the freezer, and the pantry. There's no way. So I'm hoping you guys are going to see that on Wednesday and then I have a meal prep plan to go out on Friday. When I originally asked y'all when you would like to see meal prep videos, a lot of y'all said Mondays, so that's what I have been sharing it on, but several of y'all suggested Fridays to get you prepped for the weekend. So I'm gonna be sharing a meal prep. I've actually been doing a little bit of that today as well. It's been a long, full day. It is time for dinner. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this and it inspired you. You guys can see how I do not have it all together. Um, I definitely like to buy food for the family and stay stocked up, but it's just time to go through what we've got, get our grocery budget down a little bit, especially going into spring, summer, vacations, all of that, we need to deplete our stock a little bit. So give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed hanging out with me today in this process. Subscribe if you are new. Again, I've got some more videos coming up this week that hopefully you guys will enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.